Captain's Log, USS MGTOW, 4324.17. When exploring an unknown area of space, a colonized planet was discovered. We are on our way to investigate further. Captain, we're coming up onto the planet right now. All right, Mr. Goffrey, assume standard orbit. Spark, talk to me. It's an M-Class planet, Captain. <laughs> yeah, we are a bit lucky finding those M-Class planets all the time, aren't we? Yes. Fairly well populated, cities, industrial complexes. It's advanced to about nearly the 20th century Earth was. However, there is one anomaly, Captain. Well, what is it? There's hardly any females on the planet, Captain. It's nearly all males. Hmm. That is strange. Hmm. Spock, I'd like you to join me and beam down to the planet's surface. Hey, can I come with you? No, Mr. Goffrey, you're still grounded after that stunt you pulled. I thought that finished. No, it's got another three beam downs to go yet. Mm. Spark, come on. Uh, Captain, would you like me to send the red shirt down with you, just for the sole purpose of being killed? Um, I don't think so, Mr. Scott. I think we'll be all right this time. But thank you anyway. Hi. Energize. I don't know what his problem was. We got plenty of red shirts around here. Okay, I knew. Well, what is that? A spaceman? Or an alien, perhaps? Hello. I'm the captain of the USS MGTOW. This is my first officer. Our mission is to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. I don't want it, I want it. I get it, I get it. Jeez. We are willing to be friends with any non-aggressive species in our universe. We are a peaceful planet. We have never had a war. We got a very low reading of female account on this planet. Was there a disease or epidemic? Or perhaps a plague? A plague, more like. Some females who were unhappy, hateful, nasty, not very attractive, blue hair, pink hair, tattoos, started a movement called feminism. Feminism? Ooh. It spread throughout the females on the planet, infecting them all and turning them into miserable, unhappy, angry, hateful people too. They hated everything. They hated man. They even hated each other. Now I see, man eventually had enough and he walked away. He didn't want anything to do with them anymore. Didn't want to be around them and refused to help them in any way. What happened to them? Humans need other human contact to survive. They need other humans' help. So the females, like flowers, withered and died. Do you still have feminism? No, no, no. That was many years ago, when I was a very young man. That's when that all went down. The only reference to feminism now is in some books, 
and then some folk songs. And that's just a warning to the females of the day that feminism could destroy them too. And what of you females of today? Our females are happy and content, as are we. We help them and they help us. It's a symbiosis. We care for them and they care for us. And that is the best way for the planet. Does the low count of females affect your population? We have enough females to breed. Our population is doing just fine. I mean, why have more of something you don't need? Especially females. Too right. Quite. As a gesture of goodwill visiting my planet, I would like to invite you to drink some really strong liquid that may make it go bonkers. Ooh, I, I would like that. <laughs> yeah. Not many people know this. But the captain will probably drink loads of this strong liquid. It would make him start talking. He will talk for hours. He will sometimes get loud. There'll be no information in this talk. It'll all be mostly garbage. He eventually will fall asleep. And it's my job as first officer to take him to his cabin on the ship and put him to bed. Spark? Not many people know this, so the captain can keep the facade that he's a strong, good captain. Just told to lots of people. Well, a couple. Oh, yeah. Well, copy out. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 